Mm. Oh, hey everybody. Oh, hey, don't break that, please. All right. <laughs> hey, happy uh. Thursday, guys. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the official Sonic live stream, bringing you the latest news from Sega directly and to crazy people that happen to work here. I'm know. Aaron. This is Sergio. Hi. We work on the social team for Sega, as you guys probably know, for Sonic things in particular. And today we've got some really cool stuff to talk about okay. and show to you guys. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Wow. Hey, this chat. Guy. I like you. There's a lot of there's a lot of people in chat. Hello, My everybody. Goodness. Hi, chat. If this is your first time tuning in, uh, we will not only talk about what's coming up for games like Sonic Forces, but we also have special guests. On the last episode, we had Tyson Hess, who did the animated introduction for Sonic Mania, and has done a lot of other cool stuff for the comics in the past. Uh, and this week, we've got another special guest that we're going to talk to you about very soon. Many of you have already guessed who guessed who the guest will be. English is fun. Uh, Knowing but, smile. But we will uh, be bringing this person in very soon. Before that, we've also got... Uh, two special people from Sega that are going to show us some stuff. Jasmine is going to be taking us through the latest on the TV show, Sonic Boom. And right before that, Alex the Kid, or just Alex Kid, is going to come in and show us a very cool other announcement uh, that, is, that is brand new news as of today. Now you mention it, he did start adding the kid. Like the, yeah. the I think it's his middle name. His middle name. Sure. Uh, now we are excited to take some questions from the stream live as we go through today. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, you probably could have guessed this, but our special guest today is related to the upcoming Sonic Comics, uh, which are also part of IDW. We had a panel on Sunday. We'll talk about that as we go through the stream just a little bit later. Uh, so with that, I think we're going to get started in just a sec. It's going to be a packed hour-long stream that we're taking you guys through. Uh, we got about 55 minutes to go, so let's do this, Let's I guess. do it. All right, everyone say thanks to Sergio. He's going to be manning the stream on the side. Thank you, Sergio. As always. <laughs> but first, how about that... Uh... How about that comic we put up today? Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll talk about it in a little bit too, but there is a brand new Sonic Forces comic that went live. It shows a little bit of the backstory to uh, what's happening inside the game, and it is one of a number of different stories that we're going to put out uh, as we go up to launch. It's pretty exciting. That means it's canon. Uh, yeah, everything is canon. Remember that. Everything is canon. Nothing is forbidden. Life, I, except of six. That's forbidden. What we've come to understand is that life is easier if you accept that everything is canon. Just smile and nod and roll with it. It's much better that way. Okay. That has very dangerous implications. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here now. All right. And with that said, thanks very much, Sergio. <laughs> All right. Please join me as we go ahead and welcome our very first guest to today's live stream. Give a big hand for Alex Kidd. I will. Yeah. Oh, wow. Got yeah. Sergio going. We got me going. We got one. All right. We got one from Aaron. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Sing single. Yeah, yeah single. Uh, no, just one. Sorry. Okay. Just, just All right. That's good. Better than um, What's up, Alex? How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing really good. I've got uh, a couple things to show you guys. Uh, maybe more than a couple. Who knows? But uh, I'm going to start right away with, with this. What is this? What is this? This is a... That's that's you. Sega. That's you. Yes. With featuring Alex Kidd himself, an official coloring, adult coloring book from Penguin. So, so saying, we take a look inside? Yes. See what's in here? You're saying that's the main so, character of Sega and some blue guy? We've got some Ooh. various pages here. Got, like got streets, a little Streets of Rage streets and of Rage. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull up a Sonic one here. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. Ooh. That's cool too. This one's fun. So yeah, um, let me. If you want to play with this a little bit? Yeah, let me see. But, I'm, uh, let me see if I can find you guys some cool. Oh, Altered Beast. Do you guys like Altered Beast? It's yes. Pretty cool. Very cool. This is like got a ton of different stuff from like Sega Genesis. Oh wow. Oh, Even that like controller really one's cool so good. Controller one. Okay, so tell us what what is this and where can we get this? Okay, the uh, Sega Adult Coloring Book is going to be built basically wherever bookstores are sold. Um, I don't believe it's out yet, but it's going to be next week, I believe. So, I you know, your Barnes and Nobles, everywhere like that. That's cool. Um, price point, I don't have right now, but I can get that to you guys. But there's Alex Kidd! It's pretty cool. Man, but it's got so many cool pages. You've we got worked, Fantasy Star in here, you know. I was super, Star. super stoked about that. Yeah, we worked really hard on this one. I know our PD team did, so, um... We're really excited to get it finally out there. So, yeah, that is... Yeah, when you get all those IPs in there, it gets a little complicated sometimes. But it was a lot of work and a lot of fun. But uh, I think you guys really like this. So This book is super cool. Yes. It's available wherever bookstores are sold. <laughs> Correct. That's uh, Quote that. I said that. Yeah. 
Yeah, is gotta, that what I said? Yeah, you, you gotta gotta go wherever books. bookstores are sold, just yeah. go there. Just go to the bookstore so, store. Yeah, buy a bookstore. Buy uh, the bookstore and then buy the book. They're an increasingly rare knock, commodity. Knock, <laughs> they, knock, knock. Oh, knuckles. cankles. That's, good. that's not can- that's, that's That's right. Knuckles. That's the real knuckles. That's right. That's cool. And it's got, um, oh, it looks like it's got little trivia bits uh, after each page, too. Yes. Like it tells you a little bit it's about it. It's got a little info on each one. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. So, don't want to spoil too much for you guys, but it is uh, going to be available, I believe, next week. That's so. awesome. It's got... If it's not live already. Put the yeah. official Sega Seal of Quality on yes. the back. That's a rare stamp. I don't well, see that very often. I love, I love you guys put that on there because we put that on the box for the Mania Collector's Editions yes. as well. It's kind of a little throwback, so I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad it's there. It's fun. That's super cool. Yes. All right. Now... Are we going to this one next? Yes. So, we, before you show this one, okay. Uh, this was one of those things that, that the stream had been asking us about for some time, mm-hmm. and in fact, a lot of people on Twitter and Facebook and social media have been asking us about stream. Do you guys remember the really cool t-shirt uh, that they had live at Tokyo Game Show for Sonic Forces? You guys remember that? I remember the tweets at me. I do. I remember, <laughs> do remember? All, all your tweets do about... Remember them tweeting me and me adding you to the thread? Yeah. And like, you should just really ask Alex. Yeah, you're literally <laughs> CCing me on the tweets. Like, oh, CCing Alex here to address all concerns. I yeah. wanted you to see all the attention and excitement. That and was there like, was right? a lot, because these shirts are actually really cool. Uh, so, that's... spoiler alert. <laughs> Spo- I'm wearing it. Al- this is actually, you guys you still can't up? have it. No, I'm kidding. You can't. <laughs> you so, want to stand up? Show, show the so shirt. Off. Actually, you know what? I'll. There we go. I'll actually. So this is the back. We've got the Eggman Empire here. We've got the official Sonic Forces. Uh, where is it at? Where we go? Here we go. Forces Japan logo. Oh, uh, cool. So this is as close as possible to the actual shirt that was released at Tokyo Game Show. Awesome. Yes. And and why are you showing these off? Are these going to be available in the U.S. or Europe? Or They're going to be available in the U.S. and Canada oh. exclusively somewhere. Somewhere? What do you mean somewhere? That's kind of weird, isn't It'll it? It'll be available at a place that we haven't disclosed yet. Hang on, Alex. A place that... I'll give you, I'll give you a couple guesses. Okay. Are we... Are we finally hiring the carrier pigeons that we've been wanting for the last 10 years? Are you getting them? Still in the works. Uh, A lot of approvals there. Um, You know, uh, bird rights and things like that, work rights. California's a tough state. There's a lot of laws. <laughs> so. the, the la- I, see. I think yeah. the last time Sega employed those, it was for a Sonic 4 marketing campaign, and it was... It did not end well. I, I, don't, I don't remember that, but... Uh, well, if you it's do, not... It's a, you programmed the game. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> I remember that stream when you said that. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Yeah, it was, it was a good... You looked good that day. Good time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Very good time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not Carrier Pigeons, and it's not, like, Spencer's, or... It's not Spencer's, but... Walmart or... This mug's still available at Spencers.com. Oh, That's <laughs> What a plug. Not, uh, no chaos emerald Shame, included, though. Shameless sure. plug. Shameless plug, but, um... So it's not a retail store, like, that we can go to physically, nope. and it's uh, not carrier pigeons. What about Latin America? Our friends down south are asking. So, um, this shirt will not be available in Latin America, but I have some really cool news for you guys, All so. right, let's do it. What you got? Announcing this for the first time ever to the public... Um, we are launching our very own Sega shop. So this will be a Sega e-commerce do- destination you guys can go to to get all the latest Sonic stuff and also some cool retro game stuff and eventually some current stuff as well. So we're working through all like all the IPs, all the properties, getting the products ready. But we are actually going to launch this next Tuesday, October 17th. It'll whoa, be completely whoa, whoa. Live. You're launching next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. So this shirt will be available for all um, customers in the U.S. and Canada. Um, But the shop itself, which uh, the URL is shop.sega.com, it will be live on in the U.S., Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Latin America. Hmm. So some products may be only U.S. and Canada, but the shop itself is available to a wider audience in Latin America. Correct. So um, there's still going to be a huge variety of product for people in Latin America, Australia, New Zealand. Um, but of course, the US Canada will have their own stuff as well. So. It's super cool that you've kind of shown us the stuff, but do you yeah. think we could take a look at the site itself? You know, I think we can make that happen. Sergio, you, you want to work you your guys, magic a little bit? You guys want to see, see a can... little sneak peek of what yeah. the shop is going to be? Let's, let's see if the chat wants to see it. If they want to see it, maybe we can show them. Is that yes, all right? Yes. Now, yes, yes. it's probably work in progress, right? 
It is work in progress, so uh, nothing's final approved yet. Uh, you yeah. know how these things go with last minute approvals, getting things up. So we're still working through everything. Okay. So right. uh, let's take a look. Does yeah. Does America mean Brazil? Another. Yes. yes. So that. So to be clear, the Americas as a whole. So North America, Central America, South America, all live it's, it's on the seventeenth. Thank you for remembering Central America. Yes. We feel very neglected sometimes. <laughs> I will never neglect Central America. Here we America. go. Muito obrigado. Yes. Say, say the people in Brazil. Great. So oh, this oh, is the oh, homepage. So. Oh. All right, to be all clear, right. we're going to have a bunch of exclusive stuff only on the site. Um, some of this is, some of this isn't. Um, we can't say, the hoodie, I don't think we've done before. That throw there, the blanket, uh -huh. um, that's a two-sided throw. Oh, wow, that's um, cool. That is exclusive to the site. Interesting. Uh, we also are going to have plush, collectibles, apparel, accessories, wallets, whatever you can think of is going to be there. So, what are these? Oh, other other IP? Yes. So, uh, to start, we're gonna have uh, the Sega Genesis uh -huh. and some merch there. Uh, we're gonna have the Revenge of Shinobi and also uh, Golden Axe. So that will be our first collections, and we'll be launching new collections every month. That's super at least cool. that is the plan. So they're so, gonna be exclusive items sold on this store that you can't get anywhere you else. Cannot get anywhere else. You'll be able to get some stuff like the the plushes. You can uh -huh. get you know Toys R Us, Amazon, um, but a lot of the stuff, particularly in the apparel, like we got a bunch of mugs and notebooks mm -hmm. um, and blankets that are not gonna be able anywhere else. We quick one. Yes. So will, if will we it go, work or will we actually, break it? if you scroll down, this should yeah. be working. If you go to the the shop there, yeah. Oh. So this is actually the Sonic specific shop. Cool. So if you scroll down here, these are all products. Uh, it's only three of them, but these are all products that okay. will be on the site. The T-shirts will be on the site, and if you keep scrolling, yeah, yeah. scrolling down, uh, um, these are a couple of the notebooks that we'll have on there as well. Let's say Emerald Club. Emerald Club. Emerald Club. Ooh. Yeah. And there's Japanese underneath it. Correct. That's cool. It's Sonic yes. and Knuckles. It says Emerald Club. So it's these, this is oh, like, yeah. these two are from uh, one of our style guides we did that are uh, that have really not been touched at all. So this is all brand new. Brand new assets that have never been seen before. Cool. Um, coffee mug. Is really coffee cool. mug is really cool. We've got some really cool mugs, and we're also gonna have some some more Sonic Forces stuff coming. Not exactly at launch, but we want to do it a little closer to game launch. So, so we're still working through it. You're everything. saying you're gonna make Sonic Forces merchandise, Alex? Sonic Forces and game-specific merchandise. You, you mean going we've not forward. forgotten about Sonic Forces? Like oh everyone my, says we my are? Goodness. Yes, we have not forgotten <laughs> about Sonic Forces. Uh, we are gonna have a cool collection coming, awesome. uh, including this shirt that will be available at launch, actually. Oh, nice. so, so again, but for this shirt is for US, Canada only. The other Sonic Forces stuff will be available in all territories. That's, cool. that's fantastic. Yes. And again, so this store, is the brand new uh, e-commerce store for, for Sega and for Sonic stuff. Yes. Nice. So and besides the Sonic IP, like I saw, was it Revenge of Shinobi? Revenge of Shinobi, is that the real one? Golden, Golden Axe. Axe, Sega Genesis. We're gonna do um, some cool stuff like uh, collectible enamel pins that will have limited units on that, and then when they're gone, they're gone. We'll launch new stuff every month. And again, the plan is to do new collections, including for Sonic every month. So you'll see new stuff. Pretty much, if you go on there once or twice a month, you should see something new every time. That's so cool. And, yeah. and say that you do something really limited that's only got like 500 pieces. If you sell out of it, is, is that it? Do I need to kind of like keep refreshing to constantly check to see? Yes, that will likely be it. So unless we do a re-release of that, you know, depending on how well it sells out. Um, Would you we'll be see. able to like give us a little heads up before that happens so we can tell our people and then they yes. can get ready? So um, The stream would appreciate replica, it. They want replica soap shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, That'll be, uh... That actually leads to another thing. So a big thing about this shop, and we wanted to make it clear to you guys, is that we want to hear from you. So uh, can we buy the Sonic Mania manual there? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. That's, yeah, that's it's a cool uh, bit of feedback though. We know a lot of people want it. Yeah, and yeah. exactly exactly what we want is your feedback. So we want you guys to tweet at us, tweet at Aaron, tweet at myself, Sergio, and really we're gonna have a dedicated customer service email and phone line for you guys to uh, call in, email in your ideas, what um, other IPs you want to see. So we want to make this as much for you as possible. So um, that's super. So cool. yeah, if you don't see your favorite game or anything else, yes, please buy my stuff. Buy our stuff. 
God, I, yeah, that's, so much help. That sounds yeah. really dark. <laughs> or Alex gets fired. Right? That's a, that's a really? bit drastic. That seems a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit harsh. <laughs> it's a little harsh. Uh, I, there, I don't think there are any jobs online. Who knows? We'll see. But, uh, but yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you guys want to see a certain game title, like classic stuff, like, I mean, you've thrown out a few, like, you love Knights and you love stuff like that. If you guys want to see those kind of collections, we need to know about it so that we can, you know, contact the appropriate people, the IP holders, and and get this stuff up as soon as possible. So, so, so what Alex is telling you is there's going to be a dedicated uh, email they can send email, it to you, right? Yes, and that we will that will all be live on the site once it goes. So okay. you'll have all the information there. And you're thinking right now, I would love to see merchandise for X Y Z favorite game, or yeah. I'd love to see specific X Y Z Sonic merchandise. Correct. All of those ideas are awesome, and it sounds like Alex, you and your team are totally open to listening to them. Yes. Sometimes you can do it, maybe sometimes you can't, but yeah. they can send all those ideas. Hang on to them. You can send them to an email as of next week, right? Yes. As of next week, yes. So that will all be live. Um, again, the URL is shop.sega.com, and then all the contact info and everything else will be there. But again, feel free to reach out in any way. We want to hear what you guys want and also what you guys don't. So if you don't like something, uh, also let us know, because that we don't want to keep something up that's kind of wasting your time as well. So. Again, this is really your shop, the fans, so we want to hear cool. as much as possible. So, uh, um, so Sonic Toaster? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Do you toaster want, did you think we'd forgotten, Alex? I <laughs> really... It's been months, but we have oh, not forgotten man. the Sonic Toaster. Sonic Toaster. <laughs> you know, it's um, it's more in reach than ever. Uh, <laughs> but, but still not, out of reach, I imagine. not coming anytime soon. Okay, um, it's alright, it's alright. But your <laughs> tea for Toaster has been heard and recognized. Um, we'll do what we can. I, d I can't promise a toaster. Um, and I know some people are asking um, tea, tea for UK, everybody. UK, Europe, EMEA, mm. um, and then also Asia Pacific. So, um, so for right now, they are working on plans um, for those regions. But in the meantime, we are launching the Sega Shop specifically, and again, the Americas um, and Australia, New Zealand. Cool. So, very, very cool. Yes. Well, this is this is really huge news because Sega, especially in in North America, has not had an official store like this, as far as I can remember. Maybe ever. Right? Yeah. I remember there was one in in Europe in the UK a yeah. while back, and I yeah. don't I don't know if it's still going, but um, I have never seen this before. So this is super cool. Yeah. So this, this is today. I mean this is probably the first time. I mean I can't I don't know all the way back, but this is probably the first time we've ever had a dedicated merchandise shop for these regions. I mean, definitely for Latin America, we have not had awesome. anything. So. Guys, what do you think? We want to hear your opinions yeah. and thoughts. Alex has just announced the first official North American Sega store. <laughs> Thanks, Sergio. Uh, we want to know what you guys think. Alex, we're going to yeah. have to get on to our next guest Yeah, very we've got soon. so much today. Um, so. But, to but do. Did, we, did we cover all the key things that you wanted to kind of We talk did. About? I mean, we covered an entire uh, website. So I think we're so we uh, I think we're good there. So Okay, sweet. Let's Thank see, you guys. see what the comments are. Yes. Someone wants Chaos Cola. Chaos. Well, we have cola right here, but I don't know if we can sell No, I don't think we can get the Jones on there. I think this that's already a, sold out. Yeah. This, I believe this is sold out. Yeah, this is this. it's completely sold out. So, But it's that cool. was a cool collab. And yeah. like cool ideas like that, feel free to send it. And we can see what we can do. Like I said, it's more possible than ever. It's, it doesn't mean it's going to happen, though. So... So, um, so it says life size big the cat plush. Life size big the cat plush. I want you to know I would drop a hundred dollars on that in a heartbeat. If it was life size, it'd would, probably be more than a hundred dollars. Well, a two hundred, well, I'd do it. A certain I would other do brand, it. a certain other brand that is about collecting monsters in sphere type objects did make a life size plush. That's true. Of some, some That's like so pillows true. Pillows and stuff like that. Some of their stuff. Yeah. yeah, they've got um they've got some pretty strong capabilities, and uh, you know their site's been up for a while, and so we're gonna build. Right, right. You're new. You're new. It's we're gonna right. build to something great, okay. and we're gonna have more and more collections. Like I said, as we're moving <laughs> forward, uh, this is a uh, a fairly <laughs> soft launch, but a very big launch at the same time. One so of our, one of our moderators is going. How about a a big beanbag chair? Big beanbag chair. <laughs> That's not a terrible idea. Uh, I mean, Chow, that's really interesting. Plush. Oh, oh, man. All these ideas are awesome, guys. Again, the official site opens next Tuesday. October at, 17th. At what URL one more time? Shop.sega.com. Awesome. Alex, so, Kid, yeah. thank you so much for thank joining us as always. Guys, big stream today. So please I'm please tell Alex life. thank you for spending his time and thank giving you guys. us this amazing reveal on the stream. We All appreciate right. it. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thanks, All right, man. See you. Bye-bye. All right, All it's right. that part of the show where we're going to bring on our next special guest. Uh, she is here to tell us about the latest in the world of the Sonic Boom TV show. Please give a warm welcome to our very own, she totally doesn't creep me out, ever, 
at all. Jasmine Hernandez. Hey, Jasmine. Hello. What's up? How are you doing, Jasmine? Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, well, it's uh, Very it's exciting. been it's been a busy day. Yeah. yeah. Alex just finished talking about the new Sega store. Yeah. Uh, did you bring it? Is what is that? What do you mean? There's, that. There's nothing. He was here. Oh. Did Got you, him. You, you uh. Oh, oh, oh. man. Oh. So. Mm. So anyway, um, no, I'll just, I'll just be over here. Oh, oh please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Jasmine, tell us, tell us about the new Sonic Boom TV show episode. Okay. What's uh, what's going on there? So this Saturday, the new episode is called "You and I Become One." Like with two E's? Yes. Like bees? Yes. Jasmine, did you know? Bees! Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, tell us about this. What are we seeing here? So, one of Tails' invention is he wants to do like a transport, like, you know, himself into another location. Mm -hmm. But a Bebop goes into this teleporter. He ends up merging with this Bebop and stuff ensues. <laughs> <laughs> stuff, stuff, stuff ensues. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Did yeah. you know that Tails is allergic to bees? I think you mentioned that. Before. I think that's that's a that's a rumor I heard. I mean, I don't know <laughs> if it's true, but I, I heard it, and I think if you say it enough times, it becomes true because that's how rumors work. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy that the. That's like how you think that's cursed. No, cursed. no, it is cursed, <laughs> and the stream cursed. will back me up on that. You know? Would you like to settle this right now on the stream? We can. No, it's not cursed. It is okay. just like he's not allergic to bees. <laughs> You know, I, 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 these are robot bees, so I don't think they count. Okay. There, there is one thing I do like. It's usually there's this whole thing about bees being like they, we don't know how they can fly due to all like all known laws of aviation. But you can see Eggman gave him like. I, okay, <laughs> first I got the reference that you just made. I just want you to know that. Good. <laughs> but you can see they gave him like little turbine engines on the on their shoulders. So oh yeah, it's little, like, little airplane thrusters. That's how they fly. <laughs> Oh man! So this is the latest episode of Sonic Boom. It's called "You and I Bees." Come on, come on, <laughs> with two E's, and it's all about bees and Sonic dressed as a sunflower. Yeah, you have to watch to find out why he's I'm dressed really, as, I'm really as a sunflower. I'm really curious about that Doesn't he look so different. adorable? I mean, kinda. I mean, maybe we should make one for the doll, like a little sunflower. No, I think <laughs> I think the doll has got it's it's um. Ah! <laughs> what did you? What have you done? What do you Where mean, did the background go? What did you do? <laughs> no, what is that? That's my desk. I think that's your desk. That's my desk. What? <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm, I'm, I like the I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'll see you guys desk. next week. Right, Goodbye. Right. Two weeks. Come back. Out. Later. Bye, Aaron. <laughs> wow. Oh, came back. Can't work like this. <laughs> Can't work like this. <laughs> You know that thing is cursed, Jasmine. And it's now not you're, cursed. you're. What is, is that? A candle? Is that a candle at my desk? Yep. Jasmine, there are two Sonic dolls that I see right now on the screen, <laughs> and that is too, too many. It's too many. It's oh, this is terrifying. There's technically yeah. four. This is absolutely <laughs> yeah, terrifying. Yeah, there is. Technically four. <laughs> there are four. Oh, jeez. They're multiplying. <laughs> oh, jeez. Because it's on the painting and it's on the what, shirt, which what, has the same art. What, what did you well, do? Actually, isn't it five? Five. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did you hit it with the fan all those months ago, you fool? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I'm trying to fix the camera. Sergio, please fix the camera. I can't, I can't do this. I think it's a beautiful background. Look, I, I can't even move it. I, I can't oh, Sergio, the please oh, no. fix it. No. <laughs> this is not okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh thank perfect. goodness. All right, oh. well, that's better. Good. That's much I like better. the other one more. I mean, I like your desk. It's, I like the way you decorated it. Very, it's very evil. Very That's evil, Jasmine. Evil. I want you to know, even it's though it's evil. even though it's almost Halloween, that is still <laughs> evil for you to make a demonic shrine it's with a doll demonic. at I my desk you, at work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I'll leave that. I'll, I'll leave that up to the stream <laughs> to decide. I think we all know, don't we? Anyway, so oh, again, when is this episode airing? This is Saturday, 6 p.m. on Boomerang. All right, this Saturday, 6 p.m. on Boomerang. You and I, Become One is the name of the episode, and it's got tails and bees. <laughs> what more could you ask for, Not really? The face! In a Sonic Boom episode. Here, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this back. No, I think oh. he wants to be here. Oh. I think people will appreciate. 
If he moves, if he moves at all, please call out in the chat, all right? I think he's a favorite. Oh, no. So. Oh, oh, goody. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> well, everyone, please tell Jasmine thank you for joining us on today's episode. Thank Jasmine, you. thanks for being Bye, here, Jasmine. as always. Thank you. Bye. Take Bye. care. All right, and with that, we've got about 30 minutes left for the end of the stream. We killed Eggman. We'll put Eggman back here. There we go. I'm actually I'm going to have to move yeah. this stuff in a second, so let's see. All right. <laughs> it moved! <laughs> okay, it is that time now where we're going to get on to our special guests for today's show. And yes, I said guests as in plural. Uh, surprise, it's not just one special guest. You guys could have seen that coming, right? You could have predicted Maybe. that. So, uh, and you probably did predict one of the guests that we have on today. Now, last Sunday at the panel at New York Comic Con, uh, it was announced that the lead writer for the new IDW Sonic comic series was going to be none other than Ian Flynn. And he has flown all the way out here to LA just to be a guest with us today. So please give a warm Sonic Livestream welcome to our very own Ian Flynn joining us right now on the live stream. Hey, what's Mr. Up, Flynn, Ian? I'll clap for you. Ugh. I clapped once for Alex, I'll clap many times for you. <laughs> How you doing, Ian? Now actually, I'm gonna have you in this seat right here. Okay. Yep. So we'll get you. Change you places! Surprise! <laughs> okay, now let's see if you guys can see me back here. Okay, pretty good. Yep. We might have to spread the seats out just a little bit. Right, sorry, I need to move this guy. He's cursed. Could you just put him up there? He's cursed. Right, don't, don't look at him. Don't you love oh, me? No, 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 no. <laughs> don't. Ah, put him down. Put him down. Yeah. Okay. No. Now, My so, hand tingles. Is that normal? That's normal. Okay. Someone else joining us today who if, is... If you get a rash, just let us know. Okay, hang on. Someone else joining us today who is also uh, going to be a huge part of the Sonic and IDW comic series and you may have seen on Sunday's panel, uh, has come all the way up from Lower California to join us today. Please give a warm welcome to Joe Hughes. Come on board. Hey, Joe. Welcome. All right. To the show. Uh, I'll clap for myself, too. That's all right. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> all right. There is no shame. Exactly. Let's, <laughs> just, let's see. I think, I think we're good here. All right. Cool. We, it's a cozy little room, so I'm going to sit behind you guys. They come to watch you, so I'm not going to block you. No uh, way, man. They're <laughs> for you guys today. Let me just grab, let me grab some questions that I... Wrote down. It's all about you oh, guys there's today. Questions. There's gonna be questions and curses and Halloween stuff. All I was right. not told there would be questions. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did we leave that part out? Oh, we might have. We might have. Oh, all right. All right. All so everybody, again, Ian and Joe, uh, these guys are gonna be critical in the future of the Sonic comics, and we thought this would be a great moment to not only get them in front of you guys on the live stream, but to also maybe talk about some of the questions we know you guys have and give you an opportunity to ask them some questions yourselves. The first we'll get to first, the chat wants to acknowledge that both of you have awesome beers and therefore the comics are in your oh, hands. Yeah. Thank you. That's really, that's the main tell. That's really all it is. Yeah, yeah. It would be concerning if at least one of us didn't have a beer. Yeah. But then I would worry. Yeah. <laughs> right? Just a little bit. That's right, the closest cool. we can get to being hedgehogs, really. <laughs> You're trying. You're definitely trying. Well, Sunday was exciting news. Ian, what was it like for you watching knowing that they were going to announce you as the writer? <sighs> It was exciting because I knew it was coming because we've already talked about this in the past, you know, right, setting right. things up. But the reaction of the crowd was truly humbling. Um, I cannot properly articulate just how special you guys made me feel. So if you were at that panel and you were losing your minds, just thank you. You make me feel all warm and fuzzy, and that's just not because I'm hairy and fat. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cool things about the video that you put together when you you sent it you sent it to the offices before, mm. obviously, so we could check it out, and we're watching it, and there's that long, the extended shot of the, just your name and Sonic, and I remember thinking that's great. That extended shot is perfect because that's how long people will be screaming. So by the time that shot is done, they'll have lost their voices and lost energy, and then they can listen to you talk. I think it was either that or you'd get enough time for them to go. Boo. Yeah. And say, you know yeah. what? He's just there for the first issue. We're going to move on. and We blocked out the guys who booed. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, we, we censored all of them. <laughs> Threw a rocket. They were just yeah. saying, boo her. <laughs> I came here for the sense of Ian, I want to know, and Joe, I'm going to ask you this question mm -hmm. too. Ian, a lot of people know that you have written for Sonic for some time, but, but I want to go back to the very beginning. When did you first get into both comics and when did you first get into Sonic? first got into Sonic when Dad brought home a Sega Genesis, which came with Sonic 2. And that was our first real video game system in the household, and I was hooked from there. 
uh, the comics, I got started when my best friend Jeffrey, shout out to you, buddy, <laughs> just gave me an issue of his out of the blue and said, I think you should read this. And I got hooked from there, followed it all through high school, all through university. And from there, that led me to my lifelong career thus far. Which is pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is. Did you ever think when you first started reading the comics that you would get to work on them someday? No. I mean, I got away with murder on this. I'm happy to ride it as far as it'll go. <laughs> awesome. Joe, how about you? When did you first meet Sonic as a character? What was your first introduction? Well, my first introduction to Sonic was the first game. Um, I got a Super Nintendo, and my best friend on my block got a Genesis, and so we would just take turns going to each other's homes, and I would go to his house, and it ended up more and more me going to his house more than he was coming to my house so that we could play Sonic. So, and I ate his food, but it was mostly, <laughs> it was mostly for Sonic. And, and there was food. And there was food. What, what about comics? What, what started your love for comics? I don't really, it's funny, people always have kind of this comic origin story. They're like, oh yeah, my first comics were this and that. I don't remember a time when I wasn't reading comics. Mm. I've been reading comics for as long as I've been able to read. I had an older brother who was really into comics, and they were all over. He, he left for college when I was four, and he left just a bunch of comics in his wake. And they were all over his bedroom floor, and I just devoured all of them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've just always been reading comics. No, that's cool. So you guys both have a, a history kind of starting when you are pretty young with, yeah. with both comics and with Sonic, yeah. which I think is probably a lot of us that are in our... 20s slash early 30s on the on the stream or watching the stream today. Yeah, uh, I think think while you're young, that's that's how you get them. Yeah, in our age group, in our generation, our, I think our introduction for a lot of us was the first game or the second game. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. As far as now, this question is a little bit divisive. Okay. So I, I'm not going to make you pick one, but I would like to know top three in any order favorite characters in the Sonic world. But what would they be? I want to know your your top three Sonic characters. This is going to be tough. I just kind of want to see how you react under pressure. So <laughs> let's, uh, should let's I, see what you got. Should I go first? You got go first. Go first. Yeah, I'll go first to give you time because, you know, you're yeah. running through and the And they're catalog. waiting. Frankly, you <laughs> care about his answer more than you care about mine. That's fine. Everything's fine. It's <laughs> not a blow to my self-worth at all. So the first one for me is Tails. It's an easy answer, but the thing I love about Tails is that he doesn't do what he does. He has a huge intellectual curiosity. But on top of that, he doesn't do what he does because of some sort of tragedy or anything like that. Tails does what he does because he has a strong sense of right and wrong. And I really appreciate that about Tails. Um, in terms of design, I've always liked Amy. I just have this thing about characters who walk around with hammers. Just something about that is just really Giant really hammers. Amazing. Giant hammers, yeah. hammers that are bigger than they are. Just mm -hmm. something about that visually is always really amusing to me. So I like Amy for that and you know other things but mainly the first thing that drew me to Amy was the hammer and because of in part because of assistant editor extraordinaire David Marriott who is a kindred spirit to all of you huge Sonic fans out there I am growing to thoroughly appreciate Big the Cat oh. <laughs> that is that is happening that is a thing I didn't think you were going to say that I, I you know I wasn't going to at first but it's true like Big is Big moving. is love yeah. Big is life Big is love Big is life. He's a kind, gentle soul who just likes the simple things in life. Exactly. Big the cat is. <laughs> All right, so. Ian, it's time. I'm going to go with my number one first favorite was Knuckles. Mm. Knuckles is just cool. He's the original rival. He can punch through walls. He's got spiky fists. He can glide on his hair. He's just cool. Uh, number two, if I don't say Bean the Dynamite, I think folks are going to call me a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> Bean's kind of my guy. Number three. Yeah, we'll just go with Big the Cat. Because Big is love. Big is, big is love, yeah. <laughs> big is. He just is. I want you all to know, watching, that I did not recommend the answer. It's, he the did cat. not. No, he, he did not, honestly. Did this not is all us. This has come up organically, which is <laughs> hilarious and terrifying. Just be told, I initially hated Big the Cat. Because I thought he was completely out well, of Well, I think I, everyone did it first. Right? Like, he was completely out of like, he's, he's, But once I no. learned yeah. the truth behind Big, I accepted him. And <laughs> I had been shown the light. <laughs> we're all you really sound, searching for our own frog Please accept me as your savior. It's all, we're all searching for our own personal frog <laughs> You sound like a lot of cult members I've met. <laughs> yeah. once, I, once I learned the truth behind Big, Drink I learned the to love him. Drink the Kool-Aid, froggy. <laughs> <H -C -B. laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Only a little crazy, right? I'm never going to be on the stream again. <laughs> I, I, see, I see Biggs taking a little too many trips into the special stages. <laughs> They're writing me an email right now. <laughs> uh, listen. This was your shot. You made the most of it. Listen. Don't apologize. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put some new guidelines in place for this game. <laughs> Don't let Ian in the building. <laughs> if you force them to change the rules, then you did well. Exactly. Yeah, that's yes. true. It means you, you left a mark, right? Exactly. All right, so we got your favorite characters. I want to know now, what are some of your favorite Sonic games? I won't make you pick top three, just a few of your favorite Sonic games that you've played throughout the years. What would they be? These are very telling. Well, Sonic Mania is way up mm. there on the list because it was exquisite, and I'm not biased just because the Hooligans game. It is truly a beautiful game. Sonic Colors, I absolutely adore. I think that's when 3D Sonic really hit its stride. Mm -hmm. And... Generations, just because of all the little nuancey things. Like when you unlock uh, Sky Sanctuary, and Knuckles is there as like the key character, and there's those bundles of grapes there. I'm like, ah, they remember the grapes! Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, let's see. The the first one, because it's a great game, but also because of the memories it evokes of my childhood and the friends I had then. Um, Sonic Adventure, because mm. I think Dreamcast is criminally underappreciated. But also, that was just a really, really fun game. And you got to play as Big the Cat. Also true. <laughs> and Gamma. And Gamma. And, uh, but mostly Big the Cat. But mostly, mostly Big the Cat. You spent a lot most... more time as Big the Cat, yeah, let's be just... real. <laughs> I never finished the game. Frog? Whether you wanted to or not, you spent a lot more time as Big the Cat. I never finished, here, friend. The, never finished the game, but I caught a lot of fish. And <laughs> the third one, I haven't finished it yet, admittedly, but Sonic Mania is really, really good. So. Awesome. Okay, good answers. Now, one of the things that went live today, which we mentioned just briefly at the start of the stream, is that there is a brand new Sonic Forces sort of like short comic story series that's going out. Uh, and Ian, you worked on that, right? I did. Yeah, surprise. Uh, and, <laughs> and Hashtag people, knowing smile. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there people may have, uh, have been able to guess or have known about that for some time, but uh, there's a number of short stories, and, and this, though it's not part of, of the IDW stories, which are going to be coming out in April, right? That's when the first IDW stories are going to hit. Um, this is sort of a little, little appetizer for you guys up until uh, Sonic Forces comes out on November 7th. Um, Ian, who else worked with you to create uh, the stories that we are releasing? Uh, the artistic dynamo Adam Bryce Thomas who I worked with in the past on previous Sonic Adventures uh, this is the first time he did the entire art chores by himself and I think he did a bang up job uh, it was also exciting because this was a very Sega driven campaign where Sonic Team presented the stories and said you know here's the story we want you to tell and it's like ooh these are fun <laughs> so it, it's just been a delight to start to finish Good. All right. And so check those out. If you haven't already seen them, they are on Facebook and Tumblr and Twitter. They're all over the place. Uh, the first story details a little look at the Chaotix and at one of the custom characters uh, that people get to make in the game, uh, who's a little bit of a coward and uh, tries to find his courage in the story. It's a fun, fun little tale. When, when things go start going poorly, he steps up to the plate. Well, we'll see. It's a, it's a, very, it's a very positive message. Really. Also, also. Go back and reread it, because there's a small visual Easter egg I asked for Adam to sneak in there. See if you can find it. Oh, oh, oh! there's a secret in there. I just learned this the same time everyone else did. <laughs> yeah. I did not know Surprise, that. Surprise, so Joe. This is all new information. Surprise. It's Glad a I generic can. secret to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And we can look forward to more of those in the future. So please uh, stay tuned. We're going to have some more going out. Uh, maybe even uh, next week we might have one. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Can't commit to that yet. We'll see. Let's jump to you next, Joe. Uh, we would like to know a little bit about what the future holds for IDW and for Sonic. And probably a lot of people that are watching the stream uh, had questions very similar to what we got at the panel mm -hmm. on Sunday, right? Uh, what kind of stories can people expect? It's hard to answer that question in full without spoiling things. Right. D but no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. But one of the cool things about all of this is I get to work with someone and Ian who loves the characters and it feels like we'll just never run out of stories but it gives them a chance to kind of start fresh and I don't want to say a new direction because you'll you'll see characters that you know and love but it kind of just gives them a fresh start when you've been writing when you've been working on characters for as long as Ian has something about that is really energizing so you can expect a lot of energy and you can expect what you've come to know and love from Ian it's just great character driven storytelling 
one of the reasons. Uh, oh no! Look at it. I don't reasons, say these things when you're not around. <laughs> 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 Just you know, enjoy it. <laughs> I'll butter you up while you're here. As soon as you're off the camera. We'll talk. <laughs> once he's on, once he's well, on the plane, as long as I'm we'll out of earshot, we'll it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Just send me the checks. I don't care. <laughs> We've got both Ian and Joe here, and I thought it was cool that we kind of got them both on because they represent in many ways what I feel the IDW comics represent, which is sort of this this mixing of new and old for Sonic, right? And, and so I thought that since the stories kind of share that, it's neat that we have you guys both here to also kind of speak to your particular areas that you're working on. I would be remiss if I didn't ask this question. It was asked at the panel. So if you watch the panel, you've heard this question asked already. Oh, no. Get ready. Get ready, Joe. Here we go. But a lot of people that read and grew up with, with the original cartoons in particular, and some of these characters went from the cartoons into the comics, uh, very curious about the characters that comprised the Freedom Fighters, as they were called. This is like your Sally Acorn and your Bunny Rabbit, and there's, you know, there's quite a few of them. Um, are, are those characters gone for good? Is there any chance we might see them again? Kind of where, where does that leave us with characters like that? Well, when you have a new partnership like the one we have right now, it gives you a chance. The possibilities are limitless when you have the kind of universe that we're working with with a new partnership. So what I can say is that you will see characters that you know and love, and you will see characters, new characters, that I think that you will learn to know and love because of the guidance of Ian and the artists who I think you'll be pretty excited about when we announce them. So. Um, I'm really stuck on some of the new ideas we got coming up. Yeah. Oh, really yeah. Point. It's one of those things when you sent the synopsis of what you had laid out, I remember thinking, I wish we could just post this on the internet. You know? <laughs> that would be wildly irresponsible on multiple it levels. Would, but it, it would have been fun. It would have been fun don't, for don't like... Don't let the licensing team hear you Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> It You're would have been fun for 20 minutes until my phone started ringing out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Nonstop. Well, um, why, don't we, um, why don't we go ahead and take some questions from the stream? We've only got about uh, eight or nine minutes left, so okay. I'd love to dive cool. into their questions. Cool. Uh, I'm going to jump over here for a second and leave you guys on camera alone. That's very All right, guys, ask us, ask us your questions. Ian, you can actually scoot over this okay. way just a little if you want. Wow. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to hide. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's oh, see. Look at it go. Is there an estimated price point for the comics, or is it too early to know yet what the price point's probably going to be? I think it's too early to know. It's a good question. It's a very good question. It's I can't say for certain, um, but I imagine the price point will be the same as it is for most of our 20-page comic books. Okay, cool. It's good to know. Let's see. We're looking for comic questions, guys, so send us your comic questions, please, and let's see what we can grab here. How do you read this fast? You just got to read real quick. Someone wants to know, uh, will Mighty and Ray have any chance of appearing in mm. the comics someday? They are Sega characters, so I'm pretty sure they're on limits. And I do like Mighty and Ray. So... <laughs> yeah, Mighty has give, gotten quite a resurgence in the last run. He is. Yeah. So... Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Someone wants to know, Joe, this is probably for you, when could they start to pre-order? The comics. If they're really excited, they want to get a subscription in. When does that start? They want to start putting on their pull sheets. Yeah, that's um. So the comics will be going on in April, um, which means that we'll see, be soliciting them in a few months, and then a little while after that. Just stay tuned. I'll be able to give you a definite answer on when you can start pre-ordering those, getting them on your pull sheets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just all the different ways you will be able to get the comics in your hands. Awesome. And Joe, for those that might have missed the panel, tell us how many issues are coming out in April again. There will be four issues coming out in April, so if I do not respond to any friends or loved ones for a little while, <laughs> know that I'm okay and I am just busy. And if I lose an entire afternoon, that so it goes. <laughs> Someone's, Sounds uh, like an even workload. <laughs> looks like a pesky whale on Twitch is asking, is there any way for people in the UK to get these comics? Is that going to be a thing? Um, it will certainly be available digitally in terms of print. That is not a question I can answer immediately, but that's another one where I'd say stay tuned with us and I will get you some answers on that soon. Awesome, awesome. Dark Omega 150 asks, will this be a new canon? Can we can we go into details on that? It's still too early? I feel like it's a... Uh, I would say stay tuned. It's a little yeah. early to little get little into early. exactly yeah. um, without spoiling anything. Right, um, right. But uh, 
Sonic Boom 1024 wants to know, are they going to be selling in stores in the United States when they come out in April? Yeah, absolutely. Um, starting the first Wednesday in April, they will be available at every comic shop near you. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Edgemaster425 asks, is Silver going to be in any of the Sonic Forces comics? Yeah, no <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get as much mileage out of that as I can. Let me see if I can take some questions from uh, YouTube. Uh, Hunter RYC asks, will Sally Bunny or Antoine appear in the comics? We Actually, we that? just talked about that. Uh, when this video goes live, go back like two minutes and you'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just brought it just up. Rewind. Well, fine. Well, just rewind. It's fine. Will Fang be in the comics? Well, it's uh, given your love for the hooligans. Well, yeah, I love the hooligans. And like Mighty and Ray, they are Sega characters, so they're fair game. So... So who knows, right? Yeah. Maybe. Smile. Okay, okay. <laughs> Someone wants to know how big the cat is in there. Let me see. I'm not a fan. <laughs> or Mephilus. <laughs> Mephilus. Mephilus is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! He is! He played the Apparently game. it didn't bother you very much. <laughs> well, well, we like to pretend the game never happened. <laughs> what game? A few people asking, exactly. people asking, will the comics be available in places like Australia and Europe and all that? And I think the answer is still, we, we don't yeah, really the answer is the sure, same. But, yeah, but it is going out digitally as well, right? Yes. Is that what you said? Yeah. Cool. So there's, there's always that. <laughs> Mephilus is dead like tails. Oh, <laughs> oh no! No. Yeah, what yeah, have you done? Yeah, we're gonna have to talk about that later because I don't know how you got away with an E rating after what happens, dude. That yeah. just yeah. hey, we, that's E10. that's a spoiler. Uh, yeah, we're not supposed to talk about. I, I'm not giving yeah. details. Just. It's, Jeez. I'm still getting used to just calling them tail. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's it's, a, it's a notable change it's for a key character, change, but, but you know. sometimes change is good. Yeah. yeah. It changes healthy. <laughs> Mephilus is dead by tails. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Not by tails. Let's see. Let's take some more questions for Ian and Joe. Good night. How do you type this fast, people? Well, it's, it's just like, a lot of people <laughs> typing slowly. There, there's about uh, 1,000 people here and about another 1,000 over there. So yeah. 2,000 watching right now. Yeah, yeah. That's not intimidating at all. No. You don't really think about it. Some <laughs> questions about, uh, are, are we going to see... Um, <laughs> never mind, that one's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too crazy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't, I can't ask you that one. Um, Tone it down. Someone wants to know, Terminator asks, will there be a comic about the origins of uh, Robotnik and Sonic, like how they became enemies? Origin story. Uh, yeah. At least initially, I'm going to be focusing on the here and now with Sonic's Adventures. I mean, this is year one, guys. This is the very beginning. We yeah. let, Let's focus on just having fun with Sonic. And down the line, we can start talking about origin stories and who shows up and what shows up and blah, 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 blah. Here's a question for you guys. Uh, are the comics going to take place in the, the classic uh, sort of universe, the modern universe, or the boom universe? And why is the answer the boom universe? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be doing it in the modern universe. That doesn't rule out ever seeing Boom or Classic at any point. I don't know, but the focus right now is modern Sonic. Cool. So, so in the modern Sonic world, that's good to kind of ground it. So it says we're gonna see Sonic Underground characters. I think that's a pretty easy no, right? <laughs> we did. Well, y'all know how much I love to give shout outs to older stuff. So maybe one day. I... Don't hold your breath. Look, look forward to Mighty Ray and Fine. <laughs> there were so many question marks at the end of that <laughs> sentence. Ray, 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 Sonic <laughs> 95 is asking, are you guys looking for any more artists? Mm. I am always looking for more artists. So I will say that. Mm. Say goodbye to your inbox. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know what I've done. Goodbye, Joe's <laughs> inbox. <laughs> People want to know, um, is there a chance they're going to see any of the art from the comics before the comics go live? Maybe... <laughs> and Stay you guys, tuned. You guys did a really cool uh, piece with Tyson, yes. right? That was the the surprise giveaway. Yeah. Uh, actually, hang on, I've I've got it here. Let me go grab it for just a oh, second. Cool. Tell us tell us about Tyson and kind of what he did for Comic Con. And I'll grab it. All right. Well, Tyson is not only a fantastic artist, but an infuriatingly nice man. Um, so you know, and I'd, good looking. It's and just, yeah, it's just uh, it really just I don't like him. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> um. Oh, cool. Yeah. So he did this for us. He is a very nice, very handsome, and obviously fairly talented artist. Um, and he did this for us, and we were able to hand it out at the show, which I was really excited about. The people who attended the IDW Sega Town Hall on Sunday at New York Comic Con. And, yeah, Tyson's awesome. Cool. <laughs> that's, 
And the prints, those are really nicely sized prints as well. I thought yeah. they were, and I put like little postcards at first. It's cool that they're um, like a nice size you can put in your Yeah, I was really car. happy. I was really happy with the way they came out. Yeah. yeah it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Those, are, those are nice. Uh, someone wants to know, are you going to be able to buy a subscription for the comics when they go live? A subscription service. Are we still doing subscription services? That is an excellent question. Um, I will. That is another one in which I will give you an answer sooner rather than later. Cool. Kellen Rios says, "I like this guy. He's witty. I think yes, he's talking about you. Joe. He's talking about me. I, I feel like he was talking about you. They like you. Ian. <laughs> they like both they of you. People like chia pets. I mean, that's not really saying." <laughs> You mean generic potted I think animal. you just... Yes, <laughs> generic. <laughs> generic. I feel like you just insulted animal, both of us. Uh, which grass grows out of. Sold in liquor stores Sorry, I, <laughs> They're so ubiquitous, I kind of thought they were kind of generic in themselves. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. we got time for at least a couple more questions. Yeah, about two more questions. <laughs> Someone wants to know, can I be in the comics? Says Cybershell. <laughs> Cybershell. Hey, Cybershell. Man, that's been... That's a name I haven't heard in forever. Days. He's resurfaced. Yes. Yes. Um. Sure. Why not? Just send the check to me. You know. How it goes. <laughs> also, the puppies. Don't forget the puppies. Okay. Alive this time. Oh, Joe, that was deeply Joe. upsetting. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, somebody. The wants stream to is know. over. <laughs> <laughs> somebody wants to know, Joe. Is is Tyson Hess going to be the main artist for the comics? Tyson Hess will be involved in the comics in some capacity. To what extent? I will tell you later on. Hmm. Are we going to see other artists as well then? Yes. Cool. You will. And so those will kind of be a surprise uh, as we go. Um, some artists you know and love, and some artists you, again, like the characters, you will learn to know and love. There are, we're really excited about some of the art that's coming so oh, far. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. It's awesome. good stuff. All right, we're going to take one more question here. <laughs> Can we get a comment about Aaron's cursed Sonic doll? No, please don't do that. <laughs> do what about the Sonic doll? No, no, ignore that question. Do, do what? Uh, we're what moving on to the next question. Um... Oh, no, uh, it, no, don't touch it. <laughs> possessed you already. Your fear gives it power. <laughs> <laughs> some people oh, want to know, some people want to know, will Sally return? I see at least four questions. We, we answered that earlier in the stream. I promise you, jump back five or ten minutes. It's in there. <laughs> we talked about it. Uh, will, will we be able to see characters like Shadow in the comics? People already want to know. Yes, yes. You, you'll, Easy. you'll be seeing Shadow. Easy answer, right? Yeah. I like the yes or no questions. Yeah, like, yeah. That was like a blaze, yeah. a shadow on yeah. the main... Oh, yeah, Blaze has got to show up at some point. Blaze is awesome. All right. I think that's a good list of questions there. Before we wrap up, I'd like to, to give you guys a chance to kind of talk to the fans directly. Okay. Um, so if there's any sort of like last comments that you'd like to make or anything you want to say to the fans, uh, now's your chance. 30 seconds each or less. Right? Okay, I'll go roll, first. Probably. Sure. <laughs> um, I said this on the panel and I will say it again. I've been doing, I've been working in comics for the majority of my adult life. And I have never come across a fan base like the Sonic fan base. Um, you all have created, especially with the internet, you've all created this community for yourselves. And you it's as if you found your tribe. And I would like to thank you in advance for welcoming me into that tribe. It's a, it's a pretty good feeling. You've all been great. So thank you. Very nice. Uh, likewise, I've been at this for a while now a lot of you know me some form or another and uh, again the New York Comic Con response is just overwhelming and all the responses on Twitter as well have just been staggering so thank you very much for making it not just a triumph personally that I get to continue to work with Sonic that I love so much but that it feels like it's so appreciated i, I can't think of the way to put it it's i just feel really special because of you guys so thank you very much oh that's all right <laughs> awesome very nice. also oh. real quick before we go you guys are doing another charity stream towards the end of the year right uh that's the plan we haven't talked about news for it yet but that is the plan yes well then in front of everyone i hereby challenge you oh. to a beard off what wait uh, what you what put it doesn't matter what dollar amount but if they reach it you must grow your beard, and I shall shave mine. I am forbidden from my family and friends from shaving this because of the things it renders. But I hereby challenge you in front of everyone! The beard off begins. I thoroughly enjoy all of you. I will not be shaving my beard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just put it out. So, previously, Alex and, e and uh, Aaron 
have gotten into this decision before. So, it's, it's is sounds, Ian joining this competition now? It sounds like in the event that this charity stream happens, there will have to be a certain amount that if we reach it, I grow a beard and you and Alex shave your beards and post pictures. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, maybe a video? Picks are didn't happen. <laughs> uh, hey, it's for a good cause. Exactly. Which exactly. is to torment you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know about that. I, you, might, you might be surprised. I might rock the beard, and it might be the greatest decision of my life. It could be. It, it won't be, but it might be. Oh, oh, surge. Oh, geez. That thing's terrifying. Uh, anyway. You give it power, I'm telling you. Right? That's, 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 that's how it works. That's how it works. Everyone, please give uh, a huge amount of thanks in <laughs> the comments. <laughs> Did it just bite you? I, am I bleeding? Good. Please give your thanks to both. Uh, Ian, the writer for the upcoming comics with IDW and also stuff for Sonic Forces, and also to Joe, the editor for the IDW Sonic Comics. Send them your love, send them your thanks in chat. They've both come a long way to be here today with us on the stream, and we really appreciate it. Joe and Ian, thank you guys again so much for coming out and for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming. Great. All right. We're all, we're all set there. Yeah. Yep. If you guys are all... Yep. All right. Go that way. Bye. Bye. Uh, Bye. Go, go to the infirmary, they'll I, take a look at your arm. Yeah, yeah the, I, we got band-aids. I feel yeah. kind of, where is it? I need you to type scripts. <laughs> <laughs> ah. This has been right. a, this has been an episode. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? So we like we're getting more and more special guests on the show, and so it's, uh, it's pretty fun, kind of going in there. We'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, let us know what you think of the guests that we've been having. Let us know any maybe special guests that you'd love to see on the show in the future to offer their take and an inside look at the world of Sonic and what it's like working kind of behind the scenes and professionally on a lot of stuff for Sonic. Now that said, this is our last stream before Halloween. We have one more, right? Yeah. No, this is I think the Halloween episode's next week. No, two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, right? Is the Halloween episode? Okay. Oh. I'm uh, worried. I gotta be like honest with you guys. I'm really nervous about what's gonna happen with the Halloween episode and what's gonna happen with Jasmine. So I might just not be here for the next episode and I'll just leave it to Sergio. We'll just kind of see what happens. Uh, let's take one or two more questions from you guys that are not comic related. We'll try to answer it now. You okay? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, please don't do, don't do that. That's just creepy. Someone says I want another 25 hour stream. No, please. I don't want 25 hours. That was that was too much last time. I can't even look at the monitor right now because Sergio's <laughs> doing this creepy thing. Let's what, see. What happened? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What? When news on forces at Sonic Official? Uh, we, we literally had new stuff today with a comic book. Please check it out. It's got some cool little storylines that are part of the canon game storyline. Please have a look. So someone's asking, uh, why is Atlas DLC cut from the PC version of Forces? It is not. Oh yeah, it's, it's not. not. It's not It's not cut. It's a, it's a separate thing. Now, as far as I know, it may not be available in, in some specific regions, but mm -hmm. in most places around the world, all the major territories, you can still get it. So just yes. check it out. It's just a separate thing that you install. It's there. Don't worry. Um, let's see if we got anything else here. Bounce pad. never saw it coming. Bounce pad. Bounce pad. <laughs> Dante did nothing wrong. Tails doll and Sonic doll. Oh, oh geez. Someone says, Aaron, is it possible to work at Sega as a Japanese to English translator? We don't really have any specific translators. We have people that do their job and translate. They kind of uh, work, work two jobs a little bit. So a lot of our producers speak Japanese, and so they'll get emails in Japanese from the team. And then, you know, they can translate it into English and talk to us that way and then communicate back to the team uh, that way, too. Mm. So generally, it's not like a just just a position. We have people that, that do a lot of stuff and also that. Uh, will there be more character episodes uh, in relation to the comics or the game? We have more cool stories for the comics uh, soon. Again, we are hoping to get the next issue out next week if we can. Fingers crossed. I think it's, it's probably pretty likely, but we'll wait and see. Uh, one other thing that I guess we'll go ahead and leave you guys with. How many of you guys really liked the Sunset Heights track that we put out last week? I want to see in chat. How many of you guys really liked it? And totally wasn't released beforehand somehow. <laughs> well, not, not quite that quality at least. Yeah. Let, let us know how many of you guys liked that. I want to get a quick read from the chat. Now we wait. We wait 10 seconds. So it says 10 out of 10. Yes, yes. Loved it. Loved it. Yes. Great. Great Twas, song. Twas good. Twas good. Twas good. Enjoyable. It was amazing. Yeah. 11 out of 10. Yes, with 12 S's. Nice. It's interesting. YouTube chat's taking a bit longer to appear this time, isn't it? Yeah, because we had to slow it down because of the lag issues last time. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Oh, cool. There we go. All right. So it sounds like that's a pretty definite yes. 
as far as the music goes. Uh, how many of you guys would like to get a brand new music track that you have not heard anywhere yet? That means it's not been leaked on the internet yet. Uh, you, you have not heard it anywhere. How many of you guys would like that? Let's let's see what the chat says. Oh, there they go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They go, now, now, do it now. Okay, cool. Thank you for that feedback. Yes. Uh, stay you. tuned because very, very soon we are going to have something else for you guys. A brand new music track from Sonic Forces to kind of tease you with. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's one of my favorites. For you guys asking, honest. for you guys asking for Guardian Rock, it's even newer than that one, because at least you've heard Guardian Rock. Yeah, this is this will be a track that no one no one's actually heard uh, in the wild before. So it's pretty cool. Mm. Uh, all right, well, stay tuned. We are pretty excited to show that to you guys in the near future. I'm not going to tell you a date or a time yet. It's just going to surprise you, and then you're going to be like, "Cool, there it is. Now my day's better." Uh, with that, it is about time for us to wrap up. We would oh, like to goodness. say three oh five. Yeah, right. We'd like to say a special thanks again to both Joe from IDW and Ian uh, for coming all the way out to join us on today's stream. We really appreciate it. Uh, and thanks, Sergio, for getting everything set up. Absolutely. Uh, big shout out to Alex for being here today to announce the Sega Shop, which I am super stoked for. I have wanted this since I was in like high school or earlier. I would love to have spent like, all my birthday money and my cash on Sega stuff specifically, so I'm stoked for that. Uh, and that comes out next Tuesday as well. So there's a lot of stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks and a lot more Forces stuff as we continue to get closer to that November 7th launch. So stay tuned. More comic stories, more music coming up very soon from our social channels. We've not forgotten about Forces. <laughs> Don't worry. We have not forgotten. We promise you. All right, sweet. And I think that's everything we've got for you guys today. Thank you all very much for joining us. We hope you had a great time watching this official live stream, this episode of the Sonic live stream. And brought to you by the letter Q. <laughs> and on behalf of our teams, thank you all so much for tuning in and for watching. We will see you in two weeks for the Halloween live stream episode. Ooh. Thanks, guys. Have a great Thursday. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, I'm out. <laughs>